Hey guys, this is Substitute Topher here, filling in today for the Topher in beautiful Southern California. But this time we're driving the 2021 Mini Cooper John Cooper Works Countryman. Now this is a car that's always kind of confused me because they call it a Mini. It's not exactly Mini. It's um, almost like a small SUV. I, in fact, I think they classify it as a compact SUV. And I suppose the car itself isn't exactly what confuses me, but the fact that they offer this car with a John Cooper Works package is kind of what confuses me because of course you can get the normal Mini with the John Cooper Works package for all of your fast and spirited driving needs, but you can also have the biggest Mini, the Countryman, with the John Cooper Works uh, trim level. So let's take a walk around this thing and just see what it looks like on the outside. Of course, we've got this very nice and iconic British racing green color red lip gloss style paint across the front grille here. Different front fascia, John Cooper Works wheels, different brakes, different little side vents here that say John Cooper Works. We've got some stripes on the side and stripes on the bonnet as well in mini fashion. And we've got dual exit exhaust in the back with our Union Jack taillights. I don't know, I think overall design wise, it's okay. It's certainly better than the Mini Countryman was when it first came out. Um, and in fact, I think I called this a Mini Cooper Countryman when I started, but I think that it's at this point just a Mini Countryman. I don't think that it's called a Mini Cooper anymore. So Mini Countryman, John Cooper Works, white roof, white mirrors, all that good Mini stuff. But anyways, we're out here on a canyon road today, so I figured I'd take the big boy, the big Countryman, just to see if it's worth getting a John Cooper Works trim on this car if you are to go out and do some spirited driving up here in the canyons, or should you just stick to what Mini's known for and just get the Mini Cooper John Cooper Works. Just the two-door little hard top or convertible, whatever you prefer, normal Mini. Uh, Interior-wise, let's go ahead and sit in the back because of course that is the purpose of the Countryman, I would assume, right? If you have a, if you have a family, you like wanna use uh, the back seat for things. And wow, it does excel back here. I've got quite a bit of leg room. Driving position is adjusted for myself. I'm a 5'11 individual and I've got, you know, some room back here. We've got some nice quilted Alcantara seats. When I say quilted, they're more like squares, I guess. It's like quilts, but twisted slightly. And our BMW style pop open cup holders. All that good stuff. As far as the rest of the interior goes, very standard mini. These seats, I think, are the same as the ones that you get in the normal John Cooper Works, and if they're not the same, they're very similar. Dashboard layout, it's all right. We don't have leather-wrapped uh, material on the top of the dash. It's just normal sort of plastic. Uh, infotainment, cluster, steering wheel, shifter, buttons, all the same or very similar to just our normal Mini Coopers. Uh, we do have a panoramic moonroof in this car that I'm gonna leave shut today because it is very bright out and I don't wanna blow out the exposure even more than it probably already is. So I apologize for that. Let's take a look around back here and see what we've got for boot space. Okay, so not the biggest boot. Hello. What does this do? That's some sort of contraption. I don't wanna to touch that and break it. So not the most room back here, but a little bit more than you get in just a normal mini hatchback. Oh, and it's got a power, sorry, look at that. That is a power closing hatch. Pretty neat. All right, well, enough of this walk around stuff. Let's go ahead and take this thing out on the road and see what it's actually like. I'm looking forward to driving this because we just had that mini JCW convertible. So I'm curious to see how this car drives um, in reference to that car. And that fly is on the outside, right? Yeah, it is, okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and take this Countryman out for a little spirited drive on this canyon road. I do require some AC, just not all of the AC, okay. We're gonna start in just normal comfort mode in automatic, just to kind of get some initial impressions. That's aggressive. <laughs> 
So that's just in the mid setting. Let me make sure, yeah, that's just me driving in the mid setting. That's what Mini calls it instead of normal. Under first impression is just driving over to the Canyon Road. This car isn't particularly comfortable, which is what kind of confuses me because you think if you're getting an SUV Mini, I mean, if you really call this an SUV, you want some sort of level of comfort. And even with the active dampers on this car, so when you're just driving in, in the mid setting, the ride isn't very soft, and I guess that's because this is the John Cooper Works, but you think that maybe they would have applied the John Cooper Works formula in a slightly different manner, because of course, this is not just the normal mini uh, John Cooper Works. This is the Countryman, this is the big boy, this is the family hauler. So we can go over some facts and figures before we get to the super curvy bits. We have the two liter inline four turbocharged engine that makes 301 horsepower, and that's backed by our eight speed automatic transmission. This particular car is the all four, meaning it is all wheel drive. So it's quite heavy, um, but the 301 horsepower is pretty good and we'll, we'll put that to the test. Uh, why don't we go now? Let's go sport mode. Let it rev down here into manual mode. Those gear shifts are so aggressive, and that's something that we found out in the JCW convertible. <laughs> it's such an aggressive transmission tune, but that's pretty cool, you know? It's, it's cool to have the car just rocket off gears. There is a rattle back there that's been driving me nuts the whole time I've been driving this thing. sort of weird interior rattle that should not be there. Overall though, exhaust note, that sounds good. Proper mini. Wow. <laughs> You're rocket into fourth gear. Oh, oh my gosh. It is quick. It is, it is very quick, this thing. I think the 301 horsepower factor is definitely to make up for the extra weight that this car has. And if you have the windows down, you can hear that exhaust do its little pops, burbles, and farts between shifts. Fortunately, you don't get much of that with the windows up, which is a little bit of a bummer. We just drove the new BMW 2 Series and you were still able to hear all of that with the windows up. I'm impressed with how much this car still drives like a Mini. It's still very, at least feels very small and nimble even though it's kind of a massive thing, isn't it? I mean, as far as Minis go. Very solid paddle and shifter feel from these paddles familiar situation with these BMW 8 speeds where you grab a paddle and that's it, you've got the gear. Very cool canyon road out here. Ooh, big elevation change. Ooh. I suppose the way this car drives could be taken as either a positive or a negative thing because if you want to still have that raw vicious mini experience you can still have that in this car but if you're really looking for just a fast comfortable suv to haul your family in i'm not sure that this is really the best choice but man it is still fun to drive i was not expecting this thing to be any fun at all to drive but it's actually pretty good Steering's pretty direct, not quite as direct as just a normal Mini, of course. But man, it soaks up these curves, no problem. Sport traction. I'm curious if this car has launch control because it is all wheel drive, so let's, let's find out and see. It does have launch control. <laughs> That was 60. Holy crap. <laughs> we had a little bit of wheel spin there into second gear. <laughs> All these other people getting photos of those cars. 
and there's just me doing a launch control directly by them. <laughs> Man, this thing is just tons of fun. I, I did not expect this at all. Yes, yeah, close. I understand. Thank you. I like that BMW offers a dynamic traction control option. It's sort of in between on and off. Allows a little bit of slip, but not enough to loop the car around. Unless you really mess it up, which is possible, but... Well, we will not find that out today in this mini countryman. I'm going to go back to manual mode. It's fun to drive this thing with these paddles. God, and those shifts are just so aggressive. <laughs> you do certainly get a little bit of body roll, but considering the size of this car, I don't think it's all that bad. In fact, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. One thing I do think that I should bring up, though, is the price. Now, this Countryman, this particular Countryman JCW is $51,000. And I think at that price point, it's a little bit ridiculous. And I would strongly encourage you to just go with a normal John Cooper Works Mini. But again, if you need four doors, if you need the extra headroom, if you need all wheel drive, then this is still a really cool alternative. And it still drives like a Mini, which is surprising. I mean, should that be surprising? I didn't think it would actually still drive like a proper Mini, but it surely does. So I suppose that this car fits a very niche market. If you really want a Mini Cooper, you want a John Cooper Works, you've got some children or something, uh, and you need the extra room, then this is the car for you. I mean, you still get 80% of that Mini experience, though this thing is quite large. This is a car that you could drive every day. You know, you do have to sacrifice a little bit of comfort. You know, these aren't the most comfortable seats. It doesn't have the most comfortable ride. But you exchange that for a very, very impressive driving experience out on back roads. If you have to limit yourself to one car, you know, you're going to have to give up things anyways. If you're okay giving up a little bit of comfort, then this car is awesome. Oh, yes, yes. enough. <laughs> shall we do one more launch control though? I think we shall. It's very simple in minis and BMWs. You just have to go sport mode on the shifter, sport mode for the car, and um, left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas, launch control active. It's not a super impressive acceleration, but it's certainly fun, and it's got character. You know, this thing's all-wheel drive, but it still spins its wheels in a second, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, a shockingly positive outcome from our Mini Cooper. Sorry, I keep saying Mini Cooper. I don't think it's Cooper. It's just Mini. A surprisingly nice outcome from our Mini Countryman John Cooper Works All 4 experience today. Good stuff. Would I buy one? Probably not, but I've had, I've had fun driving it today. I just don't see, you know, 50 grand. I would like a leather dashboard. I would like a couple other amenities in here. Is it cool? Yes, but I think it fits such a niche market that I don't think that I would buy one. But it's quite a lot of fun for those niche buyers. And, you know, I'm glad that it is. If you want a big cozy SUV, get an X3M or just an X3 M40i. That'll fit all your needs. If you want something in between, this is your car. This thing is really cool. All right, everyone, and that is going to sum up our little canyon drive of this Mini Countryman JCW with an interior rattle. I apologize, you've been probably having to listen to that this entire time, and it's very unpleasant uh, to, to do so try our hand at some off-roading here, I guess. Gonna back it into where we started. Except this time we're going to go the other way. Wait, is this where I started? No, it's not. Okay, well, close enough. Whatever.
there's a there's a water right here and I didn't remember water. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has just been way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Shoot, and we're just, what kind of tires are we on? Continental. They're not very aggressive tires. Still had plenty of road holding back there. Should probably go take an actual mini out on there and then eat all of my words that I just uh, said in this video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. And um, this has been the Mini Countryman JCW Canyon Drive. You'll be back to your normal Topher content very soon. But as for now, this has been Substitute Topher filling in for the Topher. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon in the next video.